Hey folks, um, today is day two of my recovery. Um, I look really tired, I didn't realize that. Uh, first night I had a really, really difficult time sleeping. Um, I'm sleeping on the couch so that way I don't like lay on my back because you're not supposed to lay on your back. You're supposed to sit up a bit. Um, pardon me while I go really slow. Christian's taking a shower right now. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I can't lift up the computer, but all the pillows and stuff, that's where I was sleeping. Um, if you need to have your feet put up while, while you sleep, um, what my adopted mom told me to do is put a pillow on the, on the coffee table. Luckily, our coffee table has two different levels to it, and it can, like, it can move, kind of like a pair of scissors, in, in a sense. Um, and so I, our, our couch is pretty low, so I put the pillow on the lower section of the coffee table, so that way I, I could, my, my feet would stop falling asleep from the blood going, um, up my legs. Um, <clears throat> something I've learned is that you don't, like, it's okay to eat, and it's okay to eat a lot if you're hungry, you know, like, sometimes... Uh, what the nurse was telling me was that, like, when you're coming off anesthesia, um, like, sometimes you don't want to eat, and sometimes you want to eat all the time. Um, and, like, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you eat really slow and eat, like, soft food because, you know, your chest is being bound, right? And um, and I find that, like, if I was eating a, a soy dog earlier, and, like, I don't eat the way that you normally eat. <laughs> it'll be a painful experience. I just took a bite out of it and, like, chewed and swallowed or whatever, and I thought, you know, it's soft food. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but what I'll, it for me, at least, it made it really hard for me to breathe, and I had a really hard time swallowing. I needed water right away. Um, and then I immediately got the hiccups, and that hurts. It hurts really bad to hiccup. Um, uh, day two... My sore throat is, like, completely gone. It wasn't that sore yesterday. Um, at first, it got more irritated throughout the day, though. Uh, but now it's, like, nothing. It doesn't hurt at all, ever. Um, I started taking my antibiotics yesterday and the Vicodin yesterday. Um, I, I took milk of magnesia before going to bed to help with the constipation caused by, um, caused by painkillers. Um, and for those of you who don't know, like, they prescribe Vicodin. And Vicodin isn't really a painkiller, it's a dissociative. So like the pain is still there, it just doesn't make any sense to you, if that makes if that makes any sense. Um apparently I got my prescription wrong when I wrote about it on my blog. I, I don't know what it means though. Um here it says hydrocodone APAP um five hyphen five hundred milligrams. I can't reach my arm long enough to show you better, sorry. Um so I thought taking two meant a thousand milligrams, but then my friend who's like really well versed in narcotics um, was just like, I heard that would kill you. And so I apparently don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so if someone would like to clear that up for me, that would be cool. So that way I can put out the right information. Um, uh, in terms of like fluids, I've been drinking a lot of water. I had some green tea last night. That's probably why I had a really hard time sleeping now that I think about it. I started taking Benadryl today because, like, okay, um, <sighs> okay, so this, it, <laughs> this is, like, really big binding, um, okay, so this area is, is sticky, right here, you can see that, oh, that itches, um, it's sticky on top and on the bottom so that it doesn't roll up and stuff, um, it's incredibly itchy. Uh, it's super, super itchy, and, like, scratching it doesn't relieve any, anything because the material is in the way. Um, so I took the Benadryl to help with the itchiness. It's made me a bit drowsy. Um, trying to think. I've been able to, I have a lot of energy. Um, bef I had more energy before taking the Benadryl. I haven't been like this all day. Uh, Bridget called me um, at about 9.30 in the morning to check up on me. It was very nice of her. Um, 
I told her how I had a lot of energy and she was like, I know, it's like, it's almost like you didn't even have surgery. Like, are you sure you had it? <laughs> uh, oh, and I've been we feeling this weird popping sensation by what I feel like is my right nipple. I'm not really sure because I don't know what anything looks like anymore. Um, I talked to Bridget about that. She said that we were, that I would be that I would be feeling, like, a lot of weird sensations because, like, it's surgery, so, like, um, a lot of your, ner like, thousands of nerve endings have been cut, you know, and so, like, they're reattaching, it's, and it's, you know, your body that's been reattached communicating with, um, you know, if you will, like, the island communicating with the mainland, um, as it gets closer, if that makes sense. Um, in terms, I'm trying not to move. Um, I just want to recover as quickly as possible, so I'm trying to stay in bed or on the couch, and I'm not really walking around much, unless I get incredibly antsy, in which case I'll walk around a little bit just to keep myself from getting really depressed. Um, every few hours, you want to make sure to take deep breaths. Um, I don't, like, the anesthesia is going to make you want to take, like, small breaths and stuff, um. And taking deep breaths every so often is going to help you uh, heal faster. Um, so does eating, like, protein. Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, trying to think if I missed anything. Um, oh, when you, when you get dressed in the morning, like, your surgery companion is going to want to help you put on your shorts. Don't bring anything that's not a button-up. Like, I unless you don't want to wear it, like, unless you want to stay topless the entire time, because, like, there is no way I would ever be able to put a t-shirt on right now. Um, also, you can scoot around, like, you can move around and stuff, but use, like, the strength in your legs and the muscles in your abs um, to move your body back and forth. Because, um, like, normally if you're sitting on a bed or on a couch, like, you use your arms to help you, you can't do that. Um... And, like, you can carry, like, a cup full of water, you know, it's not much. I'm not, I'm not carrying anything over three pounds, like, that actually felt kind of weird. I'm not carrying anything at all, really, unless, like, I'm eating it or drinking it. Like, a lot of the food that I've been eating, um, especially, like, the, the hot dogs, the vegan hot dogs, um, I haven't been eating it with a plate because that's just extra weight and I don't see the point. Um, oh, when I woke up this morning, my back hurt and my neck hurt really bad. Um, and I had, like I said, I had an, a really hard time sleeping last night. Um, but I think my neck hurt just because I fell asleep like this. <laughs> um, and then I just have this really, really bad urge to crack my back. And I know I can't, but I want to so bad. <laughs> uh, um, and that's pretty much all I can think of right now. Um, today I'm spending the day watching like documentaries and movies and stuff on Netflix. Uh, there aren't, I'm not very good at, if you have any suggestions I would really appreciate that because I don't, I don't usually watch Netflix even though I pay for it. I just get the DVDs and let my family use the streaming because I have Ubuntu um, and I can't watch streaming videos because of that. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions I would appreciate it. Um, also, thanks to the people who left me voicemails and, like, me and Christian voicemails. They were very sweet and very kind. Um, I'll put the number in an annotation again if other people want to leave us voicemails. We're not answering the hotel phone, um, but we do like to listen to the messages that you folks send us. Um, thank you for your support, and uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Okay, bye.